What's that? We're back and so soon? Well, um, we've got an interesting, interesting topic to talk about right now. Um, you can find a great many videos about this subject um, that probably do it better justice than I will do. And then we'll kind of go on and kind of get an idea about some other things as well. So this video might not be super long. Um, but it's about this important idea of the tragedy of the commons. So that sounds like really fancy and also like possibly sad because it says tragedy in there. So that already doesn't sound good. Um, and it's not, it's not really good. Um, this idea was first talked about um, in 1968 by Garrett Hardin. And he kind of talks about the problems that there were with sharing resources. So when we talk about environmental science, we talk about a lot of our natural resources, air, water, land, stuff that comes out of those like like plants and that come out of the land and animals that feed off the plants. The, those are our natural resources as well. Um, oil and coal that, that come out of the ground. Um, and then consequently what we put into our air and our water and our land. Um, those are our natural resources and we share them. I mean, we share them with the whole world if you want to think of it like that. So, I mean, the air that we have here is going to eventually travel around the whole world. So it's it's not just our problem. It's a world's problem if we do things to our air and water and land. So why is it called Tragedy of the Commons? Um, he was referring to patches of grassland that people would let their sheep graze on. Those are called commons. So you might actually hear... I heard the, the term commons used when I was in college, and it was like the grassy area outside some of the dorm buildings or commons or common areas. So that's what I thought of it at first, um, which makes sense, right? Those common areas were shared by all the people in the dorm. Um, so we can go back to that idea, too. So people, when they were farming a lot and or in, in farming areas, would allow their sheep to graze on this land. Um, but if someone was like, well, I'm going to have more and more sheep, or my, my sheep need this much grass, uh, they're hungry, okay, I'm going to make sure my sheep get fed, I'm going to take care of me and my own. We all think that, okay? That's that's just, I think, human nature in a lot of times to think about ourselves, okay? And that's not bad, necessarily, but it can become bad. If everyone lets too many of their sheep onto this grassland, it's going to destroy the grassland. It's just going to be gone. So if one person's like, well, I'm just going to use a little bit more. They're not going to notice. Do you think that you're the only person that thinks that or is going to do that? No, everybody thinks that way. I'm just going to let my sheep have a little more, a little more, a little more until it's gone. Um, so... But if people divided the resources and only took what they need or what their sheep needed, the sheep would survive and the grass then would survive. Um, so the whole point of that is we need to do the same thing with our environment. Let's think back to like a college campus in the common area, like in like outside or the common area of a dorm. Um, if everyone kind of trashes it, it's like, yeah, I can leave my soda can there. Who's, it's a, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I didn't throw my bag of chips away, but who cares? Well, if everyone thinks that, it's going to end up becoming trash. Um, let's think more recently with what's been going on with COVID. Um, we saw a lot of supplies go missing because everyone thinks, I need it, I need more, instead of everyone taking what they actually need. Um... Unfortunately, like there are, I don't want to seem doom and gloom, but the people that are using our resources with, with impunity would be um, large corporations. Um, you and I, the amount of resources we use can't compare to what they use. So that's why you might see and hear a lot of people calling for reform with these companies with the amount of water that they use or what they're dumping or how they might be doing it. Companies might say, oh, we're only using this much. And it seems small, but they're using more than their fair share. Um, that's where we get into the idea of 
climate change and habitat destruction and so many other big ideas in environmental science and in biology. It stems from us using too much of our natural resources. That's why they describe the climate change as anthropogenic. Okay, that big sounding word just means human caused. Anthropogenic means human caused. So I just wanted you to kind of think about that and think about what we use, what corporations are using, how we can maybe make sure we better use our resources, and how we can lobby for the better use of resources in our country and in the world. Because if we don't, if we keep taking, or if someone keeps taking more than their fair share, it's going to destroy the environment. I'm not trying to scare you, but I think maybe we almost we might need to be scared so that way we do something about it. Um, but let's have a great day and um, try to be positive, even though this is a tough subject to talk about. All right, so I hope that helped you understand that idea a little bit better.